Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we're checking out LEGO Dimensions Level 1 Story, Follow the LEGO Brick Road. We are going to get the level trophy achievement, there's no place like this, and uh, we're going to get one gold brick for completing the level. We're going to save those mini kits and that minifig in peril for the free play video that will come at a later time. So, if you've been following along, we went through the prologue, and we are going to rehop through the portal here. And watch this cutscene again, and oh to the air. I'm gonna be quiet so it can do its thing. We are not in Gotham anymore. I would have had a more pleasant journey on the back of that barrel. It's so colorful. Yes, it is rather pleasant. I can't see Metalbeard. Well, something's close. You're still tracking that signal. This way. Alright, this is technically the beginning of our journey because what we've done so far was just kind of learning how to use the toy pad and a kind of reminder of how the game works. So, alright, we're going to smash and grab a handful of studs to start things off and we're going to make our way following the yellow brick road and uh, going to go ahead and smash up the, the boxes and wagons at the end of the road here, or I guess blocking our path. And then we're going to rebuild those pieces that are given to us to provide a grapple hook, which then Batman can then grab. Now, keep in mind, if you do not have your characters on the toy pad, they will not be in game. So if you do not have the Batmobile on, make sure you slap it on. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now by adding my Batmobile to the toy pad, as you can see there. Let us know what you guys think about us displaying that on screen. If it's annoying, we'll take it out. But I think we're going to go ahead and rock it till the story ends and we'll remove it for the free play. Oh, shh, cutscene. Is that singing? Because of the wonderful things he does, we're out to see the wizard. It's not just singing, it's a singing scarecrow. Amongst other oddities, the scarecrow. I knew it. This is all a hallucination. I think he's going crazy. Going, my dear? He's wearing a bat costume. We're out to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You're coming with me, Scarecrow. <laughs> Another one to join us on our journey. And what are you missing? A sense of humor. Hand him over. But why ever would we do that? Because he's a heartless villain. No, I'm heartless. He's brainless. Am I still a villain, though? I say something scary. What? Is it Toto again? Oh, my, you are heartless. No, oh, oh, no. Not another tornado. <laughs> What on Middle Earth is going on? Yeah, who was that laughing? I don't know. Look, is that one of the pieces from the gateway? Yes. Let's grab it and get out of this place. All right, mad dash down that yellow brick road and go grab that keystone piece before the Wicked Witch gets to it. Uh-oh. We're almost there. Goodness, this has been remarkably easy, hasn't it? Oh, you just had to jinx it, didn't you? Now that meddling do-gooder is gone, all of ours is mine! So long, Dorothy! So long! <laughs> What's that? Something magical? <gasps> it looks so pretty! It feels so powerful! They can't have it! It would appear we're not the only ones interested in the gateway pieces. Get away from my property! Whatever it is! We've got monkey dive bombers! Oh, this place makes Cloud Cuckoo Land look normal. <laughs> So we now have control and get to battle the Wicked Witch. This is a pretty awesome scene. She actually throws three of her foes down at you and you take those guys out by giving them the old cha 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 cha. Once they are down and you reap the studs from uh, rapid succession, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see a new icon. This flashing icon on screen indicates that you need to move your character from its current spot on the toy pad and move it to a different. So we took Batman from the main podium in the middle and moved him off to the right, which freed the chains and then allowed us to throw our Batarang up at the Wicked Witch, thus knocking her down and giving us access to give her the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And uh, all right, so rinse and repeat because it is Lego. We're going to go ahead and follow this whole process three times. So she did send down three more guys. She went ahead and hooked us up with the old two chains. We moved our character off to the side, as you saw there. And now we're going to give her the old batarang and charge. Oh, actually, we're going to go ahead and stand on that hot spot there, which I don't recommend. 
But uh, we'll go ahead and knock her down, which then she gets her little protective coating again, the little bubble, and she flies off and drops three more of her flying monkeys at us. So we'll go ahead and give them Leo Pal right in the kissa. And once they're gone, we do get hooked up to that chain one more time. We'll have to uh, use the old toy pad and move the character one last time. And then, of course, give her one more batarang, too. And this will send us into a cutscene. And, uh, of course, we won't talk through that. We'll let the game do the talking for us. So, here we go. I'll get you, my pretty. And your giant dog, too. I'm a bat. Man. Seize the shiny and fly. Fly back to the castle. <laughs> no, you don't. You'll have to be faster than that, my fine lady. Without my sister's ruby slippers, you're no match for me. Away, my Away! Well, ain't that about a bummer? She done got to the keystone before us. She took it and fled off to her castle, which we're gonna follow her trail. And speaking of trail, follow the path down. You can use the Batmobile or not. When you get to the end, you'll see some free play stuff off to the side as well as a couple bad guys. Make your way up the path, target the apple in the tree with your Batarang and watch that tree come to life and actually uh, summon some more bad guys. But these bad guys actually bring us some good stuff. So uh, use your Batarang again to go ahead and target the flying foes or take them out as they come to the ground. And uh, they will drop a couple of pieces, which will then allow us the ability to uh, build this little saw. I wasn't sure what this was at first. <laughs> and look out, the monkeys will take you and fly away if you let them. So kind of cool. You might let it do it just to see it happen. But uh, all right, build up over on the side here, and you'll find that it actually builds up a saw. This saw is a little tricky. You actually have to not only get it hovering over the icon, but press up and down to get it at the right height. That was kind of a trick that, or a problem that Reese had when he played this level so uh, hopefully you guys will get through that easier than he did and uh, all right once you saw the tree he runs off and uh, look at that he made like a tree and he got out of here huh <laughs> all right we're gonna go ahead and drive the Batmobile through that shrubbery there it's gonna allow us access to this next upper area it looks like some more free playage over on the right there we're just gonna keep on keeping on right up the middle Ooh, if we switch on over to wild style and head towards the left it indicates that we need to move her on the pad although I cued a little mini cutscene here so it kind of took away from this you'll see here in a second oh there's my toy pad I go ahead and I move her into the center spot she was already there because I had moved her but uh, the cutscene kind of defaulted that once you do it correctly it will actually reveal a little box with a grapple hook on it switch back to batman get your spam on with that button and pull that rope until it drops down giving you a couple of pieces then target the flying skeletons that presented themselves in that little mini cutscene and uh, it'll give you a handful of bricks that you can actually build up but watch out there's some tentacles grabbing you so batman gets super stuck like look i even switch away and he's still stuck but I'm going to go ahead and hop in the Batmobile with Wild Style and get my drive on. She clearly doesn't know how to drive this thing because watch this. She has trouble with this next ramp right here. I was actually just being a little stud mongrel and grabbing everything I could. And watch this. Oh, swing and a miss. Um, evil, not so can evil. I don't know. Not so evil can evil. I guess that's a better way to say it. Eventually, I get it and I jump over, busting through all those bricks. And I see that there's a couple of statues on the way up the hill here. Now, I guess there's a total of five because it just indicated one of five there. And uh, I believe that we saw three making our way up the path here. I quit paying attention once we got inside. And oh, oh, we, oh, whoa, oh. Oh, we, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I got a little carried away. Uh, all right. So what we're going to do now is uh, continue up the path, and we got to find a way to get across that drawbridge that was drawn back up in and preventing access to get inside. The Batmobile does make it easy to take down the bad guys if you have good aim with it. I was not so good, and I did you see that? I blew it up. I actually kablooied the old Batmobile. It would have been really cool if it would have gone pow, like the old Batmo Batman game, movie, st stuff. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I couldn't say it right, but you get the point. Now off to the left-hand side of the area, there's a bunch of boxes. Go ahead and take those down and rebuild the pieces into a vehicle treadmill. Now, <laughs> if you haven't blown up your Batmobile, it'll probably be sitting right where you left it. In my case, it actually respawned right there too, so it worked out. And here we are again. We definitely need to go to a driver's academy for a wild style, or maybe it was me. I, I don't. 
I'd love to throw her under the under the bus or Batmobile in this case, but uh, yeah, it's probably user error. All right, so Wild Style, once we get across the bridge, actually can use her sensor ability. You have to move her around on the toy pad as indicated on screen there. And we put her off to the left-hand side. It revealed a Batarang terminal point. We go ahead and give it the old spin to win and make our way inside. Real quick here, the Wicked Witch tells us that basically she's not going to let us leave. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to prove her wrong on that as she runs away and tucks the old bat wings over her to protect her. She's got to remember, though, we got Batman with us. You think some bat wings are going to stop Batman? Oh, 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 Wild Style's getting down. Look at that funky groove. Oh, yeah. As soon as we get in, too, we get speared by one of these baddies. We'll go ahead and take him out and his grand poobah hat. I don't know if any of you guys used to watch uh, the Flintstones, but they used to be the old, uh, I think it was what it was called, the grand poobah meetings. Anyways, they had those big old ridiculous hats that Barney and... and uh, Fred used to wear. Anyways, all right. So get all the way to the top of the scaffolding here, and it'll actually cue this little scene where the flying monkey comes in and knocks over the torch. It burns down the scaffolding, preventing access across. So we then switch to wild style because we see some little sparkly bits down here. And uh, it indicates on our toy pad to go ahead and move her to the right spot. So we moved her over to the right side. And when we did that, it revealed a grapple hook. Now, we went to go ahead and grapple it, but it started building those pieces and completed or half of the acrobatic wall in the back. But then we used our grapple hook to go ahead and pull that box, and it revealed the rest of the pieces. And now all you have to do is smash the boards, preventing you from getting in, and switch to an acrobatic character such as... Wild style. Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but when you walk up to an, an item like that that has a specific character in need, you can actually press a button. There's a little eye, like information, on the information panel, and it'll actually allow you to go through and see all of the characters that have the ability. And I think that's really cool. It's a nice new addition rather than having to count on somebody like me or, you know, your big brother, little brother, somebody to tell you who can do what. But all right, we got all the way to the top of Wild Style. We did knock over the rope up there. You probably saw us drop the rope down below. That gives us access to go ahead and climb up. Make sure you switch on over to Gandalf and then jump over to the handheld and make your way to the very top. You can see the little sparkling stars. That's going to indicate Gandalf's special ability. We're going to hold the button indicated until all three of those little blue... I guess they're, they were green, I think, to start with, but until they turn blue. Oh, cutscene! All she's doing is moving faster than the eye can follow. Then let's find a way to stop her. <laughs> so we. The final battle with the Wicked Witch. All right, you might have noticed there's those three colored portals floating around up in the air there. We actually need to uh, create a trap on, uh, it's a trap. We need to create a trap on all three of those. We're gonna start by going over to the right-hand side. You probably noticed there was some stuff over there. We used a grapple hook to pull down that stuff. At that point, it then somehow cued this flying monkey. He starts flying away. We use our Batarang to knock that guy down, giving us the bits to actually build up and prevent, or I guess, box in that first portal on the far right side. So, as you might have guessed, that would kind of uh, create a little uh, response from her, and she dropped a couple of baddies. Oh, it's the old chainery again, so we're going to go ahead and move our character from one spot to another on the toy pad, thus breaking the chain and giving us freedom again. And uh, once we do that, we have to take out the bad guys and switch to wild style and do the old double jump to climb up and pull down that handheld, which actually reveals an old hidden bookcase that spins around. And at this point now, we are notified of something we already did. And then we're going to smash and grab some studs and also reveal a bunch of buildable bricks that'll be the second cage over on the left-hand side. So two of the three cages built now. And of course, more bad guys come out. So cha 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 If you do it quick enough, you'll actually get a times three times four what do i get you can get all the way up to times 10 i believe i haven't done it yet but uh there you can see every stud you pick up for a short period of time 
uh, actually acquires that multiplier and is added to your overall stud count. So, all right, in the upper level in the back here, you can see there's lots of flying monkeys outside. Hopefully we don't end up out there. But uh, use Gandalf and his special levitation ability to lift up that box. It'll then drop some bits, build them up into a Batarang terminal, spin to win with your Batarang, and watch some more bricks fall down from the sky. We're gonna go ahead and build those up with our Master Builder Wild Style. And uh, the third and final portal gets built up, and look at this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, she's trapped. Oh, no. Whatever will she do? I think this is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually going to be the final battle with the Wicked Witch. How do we know it's the final battle? Well, watch this. She drops down, and if you've ever seen the movie, The Wizard of Oz, you probably know what her weakness is. I'll give you a hint. It's not fire. Oh, look at that. It's water. Oh, no, she's melting. How do you suppose she ever took a bath? Maybe that isn't monkeys we can smell. Another rift. Oh. Batman! On it. I believe the rift is becoming unstable. Should we take our leave through it? Where do you think this one leads? Wherever it is, it's gotta be better than this garish nightmare. Come on. There's no place like this. We did get the level complete. We got a handful of studs to add to our overall total, which we will need at a later date to uh, do the things like renovations in the open world, in the free room. And uh, you can see we've got a bunch of studs here, but it doesn't say it doesn't say like failed or no true. Any, and it doesn't even tell us who it, it looks like. That is the man behind the curtain, but I could be wrong on that. But we do get one gold brick. You can see no mini kits, and they are all custom themed. Each mini kit is going to be custom tailored for that level. So that was like a little basket with a heart on it, and oh, so sweet. But uh, hey, guys, that's uh, actually it for the first level. There's no place like this. Trophy achievement is now ours, and uh, we did make it through the follow the Lego brick road. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. We'd love to hear some comments from you, like whether or not you like the toy pad showing on screen or not, and uh, you know. All that kind of stuff. So, hey guys, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Let us know how we're doing. Tell your friends and family about us, of course. If you want to see more, punch that subscribe button. And, uh, oh, to the yeah. We got more videos coming. We're going to do story, free play. We're going to do some mashups along the way. We're probably going to do some more unboxings of all of the fun and team packs and level packs. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any special requests or anything like that, let us know. As for me, that's it. As always, until next time.